It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. She stabbed a man 108 times and got probation? What to know about cannabis-induced psychosis? What in the freaking heck are we making up now? I was so high, I stabbed him 108 times. Look at this bonehead McGillicuddy over here. I smoked some really icky sticky, you know? Like you were there rolling it up, and then all of a sudden you're a, a, like a murderer. Why did I guys induce psychosis from the cannabis that I smoked? Did you, Bob Marley? I don't think so. <laughs> Snoop Dogg didn't do it. Snoop Dogg didn't do it. You're going to tell me you're the induced to the psychosis, <laughs> the, the, the cannabis psychosis? Snoop Dogg will smoke freaking pounds at a time. Never done the induced psychosis deal. You? You died, the lady over here? Eh, I killed. Look at bow ties. Look at what the bow tie brought in over here. Um, I'm going to wear a bow tie because I'm, I'm a really good attorney. Did you have to pick the leopard spotted bow tie? <laughs> you know. <sighs> DM, first time I've ever heard that. I got so high on weed that I went murdered. I went a murder spree. I'm sorry. We expected you went and you made some popcorn, you know, and, and some Hawaiian punch. Sitting on the couch. You know, you're doing a job of the Soros. You vacuum down the popcorn and you throw some chocolate inside with some, you know, junior mints, something, you know, that's on you, but whatever. Instead, you're on a murder spree, Psycho psychosis murder spree? I'm sorry, I just can't see it. If you said uh, you were cracked out of your mind, okay, then we're, we got something to talk about here. But this, let's just see what she did when she stabbed 108 times, people. This seems like a normal effect of the old icky sticky Snoop dog, diggity dog, dog, right? The dog pound. You know, you're there with Snoop, and he's on a murder spree because of his psychosis. Let's see the recent sample sling of Bryn, the psycho. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is sad because she did something horrible here. But let's just read what Wackadoo over here, the psychosis victim from smoking weed. <laughs> The recent shuttle singer Brian Spencer, Sprin, Bryn Spitzker. Let's go with Spitzker. The recent sentencing of Bryn Spitzker, the 33 year old who stabbed a man she was dating more than 100 times during a cannabis induced psychotic episode, has brought national attention to what she, experts are calling rare. It's rare, guys. But it didn't mean that it didn't happen. It's just that it's rare. It's increasingly common side effect, though, of recreational marijuana use that you're going to go into an induced psychotic state and just start stabbing someone a hundred times. You know, like we've seen it. Who would do that? What's that? Oh, yeah, no, this lady, Bryn Spitzker, she did it. You know, so now everybody's doing it. No, I'm sorry. I'm not going to play that game with you. That now Bryn Spitzker is doing it and then everybody else is doing it. I'm sorry. No, that's not the way it works. Spitzker was a novice marijuana user who was smoking from 26-year-old Chad O'Melia's Bungaroo in 2018 when she went into a coughing fit and began to hallucinate. She said she thought she was dead and heard voices and paramedics trying to save her. The voices then said she had to kill O'Melia to bring herself back to life. Kill him. Kill him. It's the marijuana. It's the marijuana. Yeah. You get sticky icky. Sticky icky. Light up another mother... You know what I mean? They're all doing it. And she's stabbing. She was doing it. Guys, Spectre stabbed him with two large knives 108 times before stabbing herself in the neck. She went into the, the neck. She said, I got, they told me to go for, you know, the jugular afterwards. That's what they told her. Blood tests found no other intoxicating substances in her system aside from the THC and the fact that she's got a screw loose. That was one they didn't want to look into, right? You don't want to look into the mental state? No, that was the marijuana. Was it the psychoactive compound in cannabis? She had no prior history of mental illness until she stabbed someone 108 times with double decker style the evidence of cannabis induced psychosis was so clear that the prosecution's expert agreed with the defense's experts about fit 
which led her murder charge to be reduced to involuntary manslaughter last week. She was sentenced to two years probation, meaning no prison time for doing a stabberoo, guys. Double, 108. No, not 106, 108. You know, The Shining, she's starring in The Shining too. Jack Nicholson's like, I'm done. You kidding me? I'm not coming back. Nicholson's out. We got Spectre. She's going to do it. Stabbing through the door. You know? Here's Johnny. She's even working on the voice. Spectre is. Guys, you got to go and see that film. It's coming out soon. Experts say they have treated an influx of people with cannabis-induced psychosis in recent years. Have they all been murderers like this? Sure. Particularly teens and young adults. They blame an increasingly competitive market that has prompted sellers to make their products more potent. You better potent the freaking heck out of it. You know what I mean? Puffing that down, they're just like, I think there's no, what's going on? I need another. Like, what are we doing over here? You know, you can't give me the, st- the sticky icky from, tr- from Snoop Dogg's, you know, stash. I go and see Snoop. He's on like pound number two for the day. Not dog pound. He's not pounding. He's like pounding it. Like, roll it up, mother You know what I mean? And he's doing it. And all of a sudden, you're in it. You're there. You're just going to say hi. But you walk in, and now you're there, you know. And you're in an induced coma with the, you know, Snoop Dogg effect. That's what they call it. If you didn't know about that, look it up, guys. It's 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 on Google. Fortunately, these kinds of terrible outcomes, like the case, don't happen very often or ever. I've never heard of anybody doing this before. It's the first time in history I've ever heard of this. So he stabbed this guy 108 times, double decker, two knives. She's just d- doing it. Then she's stabbing herself in the neck. <laughs> she's a winner. This one, can we get her number, Joanne? Can we get her number and see if she wants Wait. to go out? Wait. Now, Joanne, can you keep the the wheeze down, please? <laughs> Sorry, guys, that one was me. Sometimes I get a little nervous when Joanne's wheezing, and I'm talking about some psychotic wackadoo who's double-stabbing somebody, you know? So what is cannabis-induced psychosis? Cannabis-induced psychotic disorder is a psychosis triggered within minutes, hours, or days of smoking the sticky icky and consuming as well if you're doing the edible thing. The disorder is listed in the DSM-5. That's like a, a rap group in the 80s. The DSM-5, like you were there, went to go check out Naughty by Nature, and the DSM-5 came out. They're like, you want cannabis to do psychotic disorder? Yeah, you know me, right? We were all doing it. I had it for a while too, right? I mean, you did. We walked into Snoop's, you know, tent to say hello, to give respect to Snoop Dogg. And then all of a sudden we're in it. We're getting it. It's in our skin. It's in the blood. And, you know, you went for that police officer exam a few weeks later and they they thought you were uh, wrecked. You're like, no, I saw Snoop Dogg last year. They're like, sorry, that's still in your system. Psychosis is a collection of symptoms that make it hard to distinguish between what's real and what's fake. It's a disconnection from reality, says Sharon Levy, who happens to be the chief of addiction medicine division at the Boston Children's Hospital. I'm not saying that doesn't exist, a disconnection from reality there, Sharon Levy, doctor, <laughs> DDS or whatever the hell you are, which is a you know dentist. You're not. You're a d- doctor of addictive medicine division. The psychosis is most often as- associated with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and stabbing people double decker style with knives, you know, like you're you're at it. You're trying to see if you can get to every vein and every artery in one fell swoop. 108, you know, and then you're doing one of these too. You know, when you're kind of going like this, like a windmill effect, that was what you were doing, and we thought that was weird. But it's an induced it's psychotic. Yeah, we know you're a psycho. You guys, you're dealing with it, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's a it's a shame when Sharon Levy's just trying to get through to you, you know. But you've got the psychotic thing going on. You have a five times higher chance if you're doing it on a daily of getting this psychosis thing where you start stabbing people. That's what they say. Uh, I'm not sure what in your mind tells you to start stabbing and killing people. Like, I, you know, it is a funny thing. I've never seen anybody fight. Who's like wrecked when he's hung out with some dog? Let's let's go fight. It's like the opposite.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications. I'm live at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Let's affect a positive change one person at a time.